Welcome and thank you for joining me for the Alamance Virtual School 4th Grade Awards for 2023-24. I'd like to start with the Academic Awards and I have one person who is on the AB Honor Roll for the entire school year and I would like to congratulate Aiden Jeffries. Aiden, congratulations on staying on the AB Honor Roll for the year. The next award is for the A Honor Roll and I have several people on this one. Um, this is not an easy thing to do because hopefully there have been some things that have been challenging this year especially in math but um, I've got three people who have earned this honor. Please join me in congratulating Isaiah Lee, Chloe Reeves, Paxton Swansea. All A's on the final report card in each subject. The next ones are some Academic Excellence Awards. We call these the Rising Dragon Awards. And I award these for impressive growth in different areas of academics. So um, please congratulate these people. I would like to award Lamarius Brown, Academic Excellence, Rising Dragon, for having the most achieve 3,000 points in our whole class. He was on the school top scorer board several times, the class top scorer board, and he has really outdone everybody um, in getting achieved 3,000 points. So, Lamarius, congratulations. Thank you for your hard work. Um, Samantha, Hawks has earned the Rising Dragon for her impressive math growth uh, this year. I have never seen a student pick up on fractions as quickly as she has, and I've called her my fraction queen. She made tremendous growth on her EOG for math and also on her classwork. Um, I'm very proud of Samantha um, for a lot of reasons, but especially for math achievement. I'd also like to congratulate Kaylee Hurtlocker. She has had impressive growth on her reading end of grade test this year um, based on last year's score to this year's score. Huge growth. And I'm very pleased with that and very proud of that. I'd also like to honor Brooklyn Sizemore. Brooklyn has shown the most growth in science this year from the first nine weeks to the last nine weeks. She has really become quite the scientist um, and has done very, very well. So congratulations. I'm proud of all of you. Thank you for your hard work. And the next award is the Dragon Heart Award. And a Dragon Heart uh, is an acronym. The H stands for honorable. The E stands for enthusiastic. The A stands for adaptable. The R stands for responsible, and the T stands for thoughtful. So the students who get this award, and I'm pleased that there are several who get this award. Um, these students, I can always count on to do what they're supposed to do. I can count on them to tell me the truth. Um, they have energy. They're interested. They ask questions. They are they're happy to be at school. They want to learn. Um, they're adaptable. If things don't go right the first time, they're okay to try it a second time. Uh, if we have technical difficulties, they don't give up. They keep working. They're very responsible. They do what they're supposed to do, when they're supposed to do it, and they are thoughtful. They care about others, and they show that they care. Um, they they're kind to each other and they think about their work and they put forth their best effort. So I would love to congratulate the following people for the Dragon Heart Award. Samantha, Aiden, Isaiah, Chloe, Paxton, Alana, Malia. Thank you for being students that I can always count on to do whatever you can to make our class a better place. And I can always count on you to do whatever you can to be a great learner. So thank you for that. 
And now we've got some fun awards. Uh, the class voted, I did a survey and let the class vote on some of these awards. And then I just chose some based on what I know about people. And so this is a combination of what the class voted for and what I chose based on people's different personalities. And these are just for fun. Lamarius Brown gets the certificate for most likely to have 1 million YouTube subscribers. Yay, Lamarius. Uh, I'll be one of them when you, when you get your channel going. Um, Gabby is going to get this award for most likely to have a zoo in the backyard. Now, I would have given Gabby one for most likely to be an entomologist because I know that she likes bugs, but the class voted for this one, most likely to have a zoo. So Gabby, I'll come see your zoo when you get it set up. The next one is for Samantha. And Samantha is voted most likely to share her ice cream. Samantha, that's a great friend. Thank you. The next one is for Kaylee, and Kaylee got voted most likely to become a famous artist, and hopefully she'll do her hair like Bob Ross's. I'm just kidding, Kaylee. These are just for fun, but Kaylee is a great artist. The next one is for Allison, and Allison has been selected as the most likely to photobomb your picture. Uh, Allison, I thought that was pretty funny, and I was surprised that your class voted for you for that. I didn't know that you were a photobomber, but it's, it would be fun, I'm sure. Whatever you're doing would be very funny. Uh, the next award is for Aiden, and Aiden is most likely to win an Olympic gold medal. Aiden, congratulations on that. I will watch you on television. Isaiah gets the next one. And Isaiah is most likely to set a Guinness World Record. I have no idea what his world record will be for, but I'm sure it will be spectacular. And I can't wait to see it. The next one is for David. And David is most likely to design a world popular video game. He's going to come up with something even better than Fortnite and Roblox and Minecraft. So David, I don't know if I'll play it. I'm not much of a video game player, but maybe my grandkids will. <laughs> Chloe, her award is most likely to be president of the United States. So Chloe, I'll vote for you. I'll, I'll see you on the ballot and I'll remember you and maybe you'll mention me in your inauguration speech. Brooklyn's award. Brooklyn is most likely to become a famous jewelry designer. Brooklyn is interested in crystals and gems and she's been studying them a lot this year. So um, maybe she'll put that to use and be a designer and make it into a career. That would be really cool. Paxton is most likely to be a best-selling author. Paxton writes amazing stories with so much detail and cliffhangers and it's they're funny and they're a little creepy sometimes. He's a great writer. So Paxton, you keep that up. I'll buy all your books and I'll hunt you down and get you to autograph them for me. Our next award is for Alana and Alana has won most likely to be a fashionista. So Alana, I, I think it's a perfect award. Um, I think you said you were interested in being a fashion designer and you will be great at it. So good for you, Alana, fashionista. And our last award for fun is for Malia. And Malia is most likely to be the stylist of celebrities. Um, Malia, going to do the stage hair, stage makeup. Um, she'll be really good at that. She's very creative if she doesn't decide to become a doctor instead. She hasn't made up her mind yet. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us. Um, I hope that you all have a great summer and I thank you for a great year. And congratulations to all of our award winners. You'll be able to pick up the printed certificates at our field day on Thursday.
they'll be there. I'll be there. And if you can't make it, I will leave them in the office for you to pick up there. And if you like, I can just send you, I can email you a digital copy and you can have that and print it yourself if you would like. So thank you again and congratulations. <laughs>